Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and we are once again back playing some early gameplay from Mafia 3. Once again, this was captured during my time at the 2K Studios in San Francisco. And once again, just for full disclosure, they did provide my flight as well as my hotel accommodations to come visit their lovely studio, which is actually a retrofitted hangar, a military hangar where they used to house planes, which is really cool. So probably one of the most unique studios that I've actually ever been to. But anyways, we're once again back playing exactly where we left off. Well, I can't really say exactly where we left off because the previous section or scene I actually had to cut out due to embargo stuff that they wanted to keep super secret. Lots of awesome and amazing things, but not really. Personally, myself, I, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I don't make embargoes. I just have to follow them. But anyways, so what we're doing right now in this episode, we are taking a drive in the rain. Lovely drive in the rain kind of day. For those people who are too lazy to wash the cars, just drive around the rain. I, we are actually visiting the other district in this game. We are going to be visiting the French district. And actually, in hindsight, I shouldn't have done this. Because when we started this demo, I was given the option of going to do two different districts. And it was better off for me to kind of just focus in on one district. That way I can kind of progress through the story a little bit further. But I... You know, you guys know me, I'm just like, I'm so Mr. I cannot focus on one thing, I have like ADHD and then I see things on the map and then I just have to go to them. So in this, in this video, we're just going to go to the French district and then when we go into part three, we'll revisit Frisco Fields and continue on with the storyline. So the French district is vastly different than the previous district that we went to, it's more hoity-toity. There's more white people, and because this is the 60s, that also means part and parcel, it's more rich people. Because this is a branching path in the game, the objectives of this area kind of start off the same as the previous area. We're going to meet up with our informant who is dedicated to this area. He'll give us a destination of where we go. We need to shake down some thug, get information from him, and then proceed to chip away at the finances of the lead person in the area. You'll, once again, it'll be indicated in the top left hand corner of the screen. And we have the options as well to once again take down, do some enforcer side missions as well as burn some supplies. Just a little bit, this is minor twist, but it's pretty much all the same the as way. we found well, in the previous episode. Crawley, assume you're still publishing that rag of yours. If it bleeds, it leads. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me? Horse. You want high-end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand-picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Hurt an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. Or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation. And the high rollers. And horse for handsome Harry will know what he's up to. Oh, wait. So when I eventually do take my focus in and actually focus on a specific district, we're actually gonna have a sit down with all our mob bosses. I need so... a run out to the French ward. Right here, what we're doing is we're making use of a game mechanic that actually allows you to call in cars as well as weapons trucks. The cars are always free, so just call them in when you want. Some of the best cars are actually, you can call them for free. Show me what you got. But you can also call on this thing, this bang bus. <laughs> the, the orange bang bus of the 60s instead of sex it has weapons coming out of it so you can call it in and buy weapons if you want to prepare for an area of weapons that you have unlocked throughout the game at this point in the demo not everything was unlocked for me car is promised. that's a big hill and that's a very sexy car it actually reminds me of the Impala from Supernatural even though it isn't an Impala but it just reminds me of it and I called in a car to like drive 200 meters away. The green people are having like a field day right now, polishing their Priuses and all that kind of stuff. So like I was saying, once you eventually clear out an entire area, 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a sit down with all your mob bosses. There are three of them in total in the game. Characters that you've met throughout the storyline before this and people who have actually played Mafia 2 if Vito makes his return. Do I look worried? What about little Steve? How'd you handle him? Told him he can't hey, deal to the girls. And Harry wouldn't like it. No, 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 no. You go back and put a beating on his ass. Tell him next time we find one of our girls fucked up, we're gonna fuck him up. Or something. You figure that. So we have to make this pig squeal as he's trying to get some. How can I get to Harry? The boss has some VIP customers coming in. Sick fuckers who like to hurt the girls. I can tell you where they're gonna be. Once again, we dreams. As you see, we have a choice. Time to die, prick. How can he dream if he's dead, Lincoln? Come on! Now we have to make our escape out of here because we're trespassing. And trespassing as a black man in the 60s is pretty much guaranteed a bullet in your back. <laughs> so, this is once again, like I said earlier, it shapes up exactly like the previous district. This is a branch in the game where you kind of get to decide where you want to start. And that being said, even though the missions are slightly tweaked, they're basically the exact thing the same. You start off by shaking down some informant. Well, I guess you start off by meeting your personal informant for the area. Then you have to go meet a guy who squeals and like rats out everyone else. And then you just kind of have to proceed in chipping down the economy system in the area as a whole, which will be indicated in the top left hand corner of the screen. And the reason for that is what you're doing is each area has a guy in charge. Here and punch this guy and punch hose in the face as well because the she looked at me cockeyed and where the hell did you pull that gun out of and then this guy is just like Fuck. i didn't like his aviator so i gave him a headbutt to the face anyways so this we did an enforcer thing earlier in the previous episode i didn't show you guys to destroy the supply cache in the previous era, what you were destroying were drugs, I think, if I remember correctly. In this area, you're destroying film. It's basically the exact same premise, just reskinned and given a little bit of a twist. But like I said, wholeheartedly admit it's basically the exact same thing. So what I was saying is each area has their own specific mob boss. And in order for him to show up, you have to drop the economy system to... A certain level which is the zero money marker because once that hits zero he knows that he's in deep shit and his boss with the bigger Tommy guns and the bigger watches will come on down on his ass really quickly unless he intervenes and then that's the perfect opportunity kind of expose themselves and you eventually just kill him and that's basically the premise and after you kill him you have a sit down with all the rest of your mob members there are three of them in total Vito from Mafia 2 makes his return, as well as two new characters that you meet earlier in the game. Once again, this was about 14 hours into the game, and I made the comparison to cinematic storytelling on the level of The Last of Us in the previous episode. Some of you guys actually took quite offense to that, because The Last of Us and in general, basically anything Naughty Dog makes is like the pinnacle of cinematic storytelling everyone just loves it but this game like i said it's about it's not fair i'm not i'm gonna admit to you guys it's not on the same level if i were to say that that would be com a complete lie but the thing is i'm not allowed showing you guys cgi cinematics because it was just embargoed and all the stuff that i played at the very beginning of the game in terms of the cinematic storytelling i just absolutely love it's probably because I haven't played a kind of modern day. This game set in the 60s, so it's not exactly modern day. I haven't played a kind of modern day open world game that has such a serious narrative than this game had. All the open world games that I've played so far, such as like The Last Grand Theft Auto or like Saints Row, they usually have this quirky, funny, kooky feel to them. Just really free hearted, but this one's just like right down to the racial tension between like Bobby Bastian to cook up his shit. white and black people and drugs and violence it's and all been that a kind bad of stuff. Couple of days for old Bobby Bastian. Far less of his product out on the street than he and Miss Marcano would like. Sounds like good news for you. I mean, it doesn't hurt. What are things looking like at the lab? Is Bastian there? 
Yeah, and in a fucking state. Apparently, the Marcanos aren't too happy about the cash flow disruption. Yeah. Well, let's see how they feel about losing their drug lab. And Bear, sell what you're gonna sell, but you better steer well clear of the hollow. So we're gonna go confront Bobby Bastion and stop his drug racket because he's feeding the leader of this area lots of money with all the shit he cooks up, Breaking Bad style, as we break ankles jumping off buildings. I'm gonna call in this beautiful, sexy sounding red car right here. I'm this in Frisco is... Fields and need some new wheels. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get it right to you. This is actually the very first time that I actually driven this car in the demo. It was just listen to this thing. Here's your car, boss. Appreciate it. The white man in the 60s calling the black man a boss. You know we're legit when. Let's do this thing go. But anyways, what we gotta do is we're gonna go confront Bobby Bastion in his kind of like industrial building where he's cooking up all his shit without any sort of intervening from the police or any sort of investigation. Once again, this area is just this area is just full of corruption. And I try tackling this kind of free gun, shoot him up. As you can see, it's now nighttime because we got absolutely wasted. The best approach that I found was try to approach this as stealthily as possible. It's not as simple as it seems because a lot of the staircases are blocked off. So you only have a couple entrances open to you that you can kind of get to the top of this building. And when we reach the top of this building, as we punch guys with their elbow, giving them the people's elbow. And I also also chose like the absolute worst weapons for this mission because I have like a handgun with, it's a revolver anyways, with a six ammo clip before loading as well as a rifle. I recommend once you guys doing this, if you don't plan to do the stealth route, go with like a fully automatic rifle and a semi-automatic handgun just makes your life lot easier so um, I knew exactly where I was supposed to go because I failed hard previous attempt and knew all the other entrances were kind of blocked off and that's what I kind of like about this game that gives you the different options of how you want to play in Grand Theft Auto it's mostly just shooting up and blowing shit up as much as possible Michael Bay style but in this game for those people who like me enjoy the stealth you have that option as well and you might want to do stealth in this area because as you can see a little bit further on there are a lot of red barrels surrounding and you don't want to explode yourself with a stray bullet or some asshole white guy just completely misses you like a stormtrooper and blows you up to kingdom come so i suggest when you guys play if you guys play and you get to this area try to go with a stealth approach but anyways what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay once we capture this area what we're gonna do is in the next episode we're gonna return to frisco fields the area in the north and we're gonna clear that area out completely and then we're gonna have to sit down with all our bosses and you guys will get a little bit more of a taste of the storyline of this game and kind of how it's going and how it's directed but other than that thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode as always if you enjoyed the episode and you like these early looks at games that haven't come out yet uh, let me know as well as let 2k know by dropping the video a quick thumbs up but other than that thank you guys for watching like i said and as always have a fantastic day and remember racism is bad i'm guy Miss Olivia supposedly paid a fortune to bring those lab guys in from San Francisco. How the fuck's Mr. Bastion gonna explain this one? Ain't nothing to explain. But we need to make damn sure no one gets in here. That nigga out there is gonna be the least of our worries. Nothing to see, I guess. Can we still cook without those other fellas? 
You mean the man Miss McConnell brought in from San Francisco? <laughs> Fuck me! Time you got a new partner, Bastion. One that's gonna let you focus on doing what you do best. All right. I'll cook for you. Welcome to the family. Only way we're gonna hold on to Frisco Fields is if you send some of your boys. This is all I ever wanted, brother. Next step for you is easy as long as you let us stay right where we are.